Hello guys, today is an important day for Laravel Daily. We're launching a new project called Fila Start, a visual builder that will help you to generate the code for filament resources in a visual way. This is an open source project free on GitHub. In this video, I will show you how it works and how to use it. First, you need to understand that it's not a package. It's not a Laravel package. It's a Laravel project installable on your local web server, which would generate the filament CRUDs for you. Also, it will generate Laravel models and migrations if you wish to use them, if you don't have them yet. First, let me demonstrate how it works and then how to install it. So I have installed that locally already. So I have my panel, but you can create a new panel, for example, second panel, something like that. And then you create CRUDs. New CRUD, for example, projects visual title. There are a few more settings, but we don't care about that for now. So we've created that CRUD and then you add the fields, the columns. For example, project name, text, validation required, name. Like this, you create. And then the main thing, generation of the code. You click generate and download the code, start generation, and it will be pretty quick. So there's no need for any queue or reverb or anything like that. And then you have the archive to download. You click download. And now I unarchived and opened it in my sublime text. Here is the unarchived list of files. So you have filament resource for the projects with all the pages needed. And then also optionally, you may use project as a model if you don't have it yet and migration for the table if you don't have it yet. And then your task is to copy those files into existing project. So fill a start assumes that you already have Laravel and filament project. You just need to generate more filament resources. So here's an example. I have freshly installed Laravel and filament without any CRUDs, without any menu items. And I will copy the files from the generated panel to the testing one. So app filament, you can copy one by one files individually or folders. In this case, I can copy the full filament folder because a fresh filament installation doesn't even have any resources. Then for the models, user is by default in Laravel and project is generated. And finally, migration, database migrations. I will copy just that one migration file for the projects. And then inside of that test panel, I just run PHP Artisan migrate for the migration of the projects. And then I refresh the dashboard of filament. And here we go. We have projects resource and we can add new project with the fields that we have just generated. So this is how it works. When generating the CRUDs, there are a few more settings and field types that you may want to explore. For example, in new CRUD field, there are various field types, but I will skip that in this video. There's quite a detailed documentation in our readme file. And this is actually kind of a successor to our admin panel generator, quick admin panel, which we created back in 2016. So it's eight years old. But this year I made a difficult personal decision to not extend quick admin panel for the future new releases of Laravel. Currently, it does generate the code for Laravel 10, but Laravel 11 skeleton changes were quite significant. And for us to support that would mean almost rewriting the thing from scratch. So financially, it doesn't make much sense anymore. So quick admin panel is good as it is. It's still supported, but probably at least at this moment, I'm thinking this way, we will not support Laravel 11. But at the same time, we wanted to give some kind of alternative to our customers, our users for Laravel 11 and this is where filament comes in as a natural tool that grew in popularity massively and I have a separate even YouTube channel filament daily. So fill a start is kind of a small successor to quick admin panel in a way with minimal functionality for now just the CRUD generator, but we'll see how you react to this launch. Will you want more features? And which features exactly? Will you contribute as it is open source? We'll see how it goes in upcoming months. Now, how to install it. It's actually a typical Laravel and filament project. So git clone, composer, install and stuff like that. So first git clone, I will clone it into a folder called start, then CD start, copy ENV example to ENV. In ENV, all I need to change is actually app URL. DB connection by default is SQLite. So start test, I close the ENV, then composer install then PHP artisan key generate, 
then create SQLite database. You may prefer to use MySQL, that's your personal preference, and then migrate with seed, and that seed would create the default admin user. And that's it, you load start.test in your browser, it redirects to a familiar login form of filament, and the credentials are admin, admin, com, and password, and you are inside of the builder, you create new panel, and go create CRUDs. Pretty typical installation like for any Laravel project. The final thing I want to mention is extending. So we're kind of preparing for potential more features in the future. And my colleague Modestas has written documentation about enabling modules. Module is a set of CRUDs, basically task management may contain projects and tasks CRUD resources. Also how to customize the fields and how to modify templates. All of that is in the readme. And from here, I want you to participate with ideas, issues, requests, and we will see if it's worth for us for dive deeper and spend more time on this to improve, upgrade, and create more features of Philistart. This is kind of my personal way now of launching something, launching products, launch MVP, iterate on the feedback, and then see what happens. So you can start using Philistart now. The link will be in the description below and any comments are welcome in the comments section. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.